Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is just going to be a really quick kind of video, or at least I plan it to be. This is based on my last video that I posted talking about not really worrying about outcomes, um, what that really means. So again, go watch that video if you haven't already. That one kind of explains things a little bit more than I will here. But in this video, I just quickly wanted to talk about something that I kind of made the mistake of in the past and I realized after making that video I thought maybe people might end up doing this so what that is is basically when you are so set in the thing that you want to manifest like it's it's really good to be set in it right it's very good to be persistent be like I am this thing like I am a millionaire I am a millionaire you're saying it again and again and when your reality shows the opposite I say in that video right to continue to persist to continue to know that you are that thing internally know that you have it internally remind yourself of that and eventually you will also experience it externally but with that being said i also want to say that you are never trying to fight your outer reality don't ever start a fight with your outer reality because kind of like i said in that last video it's the person that sort of stays quiet or that doesn't fight back that's always the bigger person that always ends up winning in the end so if you are seeing the opposite in reality and you're affirming to yourself, you're like, I am a millionaire, I am a millionaire, but you start getting in that mindset of sort of like you're saying it, defending yourself, like you can almost feel it when you start to do that. You're like defending yourself rather than just knowing it. And that is not going to bring the thing in that you're trying to manifest. If you are defending yourself, then the universe is going to see that as you are basically insecure and the fact that you actually have that thing, you're feeling the need to defend yourself. And we do this in anything in our life, right? If someone feels the need to defend themselves, it's usually because they feel threatened in some way, even though they might not admit it or they say, no, I don't feel threatened. Usually it always is in some sense threatening our ego. So that's what this is. When you start fighting reality, it's your ego talking rather than your higher self. Because your higher self knows you already have this thing. But when your ego starts talking and you start defending it, then you're really just putting yourself in this energy of lack of neediness and you don't want to do that so instead of yelling at your reality um which in some senses it can work i'll explain that in a second but normally what you want to do is just sit back and just kind of know that you have this thing so rather than defending it and fighting for it you just sort of Let's say your computer screen is showing you, once again, I keep using the sales reference, it's showing you that you do not have the thousand dollars in sales that you were expecting to have and you're getting frustrated with it and you keep seeing this number that's not the right number and so you keep saying, I have a thousand dollars in sales, I have a thousand dollars in sales and you're starting to get frustrated by saying that so much. The best thing you can do is just stop saying it, stop saying it out loud and just sort of sit back and just look in your mind, see the thousand dollars in sales or just calmly say the affirmation in your mind and then come back to this reality like it's really about just this knowing that you have it in imagination realize once again you're not trying to force this reality to conform that's not what you're trying to do and sometimes we forget that you're trying to convince yourself that you have it in imagination so when you're getting in that energy of feeling defensive because your reality is not conforming go into your imagination see that thing affirm you have it there because that's the only place you need to have it because eventually, if you have it there, it'll manifest here. So when you're affirming, realize you don't have to stress yourself out that you're not seeing it here. Because if you have it in here, it will come out here eventually. Your mind is like a printer. It's going to print it out eventually. So <laughs> see it there. See that you have it there. Calm yourself down, you know. And you have to sort of stay in this mindset of, I like to think of myself like, <laughs> again, I'm referring to movies, but... There's movies where, you know, everyone's having this big talk, like they're all arguing about something really important in the movie and blah, 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 like they're going back and forth, they don't know what to do and they're all fighting about their different ideas and then there's like this one guy or someone who's like sitting in the far back corner with like his hat down, like this old man or something, he's sort of just listening to the conversation, not saying anything and then all of a sudden when everyone, out of nowhere, like he says a few words and it ends up being like the answer to everything and everyone just looks at him. Like, that's what you have to be like, <laughs> like this calm confidence where you don't need to constantly say that you have something or say that it's yours because you just know, like, you just know you're right or you just know you have the answer. You don't need to talk about it. You don't need to talk above everybody else. You don't need to voice your opinion constantly or force it because, you know, 
the person that talks the least usually is the one that people listen to the most, right? Like the person that's constantly talking, constantly over everybody else and sort of trying to get their opinion across, that's usually the person that is most insecure and nobody really wants to listen to versus the person who's sort of calm and collected and just has few words to say. So I kind of like to think of myself in that energy. So if I ever get stressed out, kind of feel that energy, this like calm, sort of strong, confident energy where you only need to say your thing once or you only need to just know it in your own mind. That's all you really have to do. So I really recommend doing that if you ever feel like you're starting to get frustrated with reality and you're starting to affirm just to see something. Remember, that's not ever what we're doing. We're affirming to remind ourselves we have it in imagination because if you have something in imagination, you will eventually also see it manifest out here. That's just what happens, right? Your mind is a printer. And then back to what I said about manifesting, sort of like when you're angry, when you do get in sort of that frustrated energy with the universe, you can manifest from this state as well, but instead of just affirming things in this mindset of like wanting something, like you're affirming so loud and so angrily because you want it so bad, you're affirming from the energy of being commanding to the universe. As in, I know that this is already what I have. Like I am affirming this because I know it is true. I know I have it in imagination and I know that the law is that once I have it here, it'll manifest out here so it's coming from this energy of commanding rather than wanting and you can feel it too when you're in the energy of being needy versus the energy of like this is what i am i am commanding the universe like it's a bit different so if you do get in an angry energy just use it to your advantage and don't be in a victim mindset be in a commanding mindset be in a mindset of like i'm owning this this is who i am this is what I am at my core. I have this thing. I know I do. And that's more so where you can manifest from. So you definitely can manifest when you are angry or frustrated, but you just have to use it to your advantage and be like the leader mindset rather than the victim mindset. And more than anything, anytime when you're trying to manifest something, if ever you get into this energy of being frustrated, being angry, sad, whatever, all these different emotions, and you're still trying to affirm the best thing you can do if you still can't seem to get one of these things right, like you can't seem to get into this mindset of like commanding or something, like you're feeling kind of sorry for yourself at that point, the best thing you can do is just pull back and just let your mind kind of go quiet and stop trying so hard. That is the best thing you can do if anything fails. If at any time when you're trying to manifest something, if all else fails, the best thing you can do is calm your mind like go do something else go for a walk go outside do something that you like doing or something that will distract your mind watch a movie whatever it is the best thing you can do really too is clearing your mind as in meditation can be good but again sometimes that can frustrate you more so that's why I say sometimes you can do something else where you're distracting your mind that's good as well but those moments when your mind is more clear is when clarity comes in when you will receive kind of like the next information from the universe on like what your next step should be it's sort of like when you are open to suggestion from the universe like that's when things will get better so if you're constantly forcing constantly trying and things aren't working i would recommend just take a break let your mind get calm for a bit and see what comes in see how you start feeling after that time so that's the best thing you can do before trying again is sort of just give your mind a break because we always need to be, I talked about this in my other video, in a yin energy sometimes. We have yin and yang. Yang is like the energy of doing things, action, and then yin is the energy of receiving, of calm, of stillness. And we need to have both. There has to be a balance for us to manifest properly in this life. So if you're in the inner energy too often, try being in the yang energy for a little bit try being or sorry if you're in the well either way it goes either way but if you're in the yin energy yeah if you're in the yang energy too often sorry then you can try being in the yin energy a little bit that's the best thing you can do anyways i think i'm gonna end the video here but hopefully you guys find this helpful this was just like a little additional message i sort of wanted to add on to the last video just so that we don't have anyone who's trying to just force change in the reality and yell at the universe. I'm never recommending that. Always go at it with just this calm, strong confidence. That's the mindset you want to be in at all times. 
and if you're not you know take a break from it don't force things ever so anyways thank you guys so much for watching comment like and subscribe and i will see you all in the next one right bye